Women can now drive cars in Saudi Arabia. Let's check it out. Just today, Saudi Arabia lifted a historic ban allowing women to drive cars. Look at this. Look at this lady. Look how happy she looks here. You know, look at this. Now tell me, what's wrong with this picture? It shouldn't exist. Look at her. She gets behind the wheel for the first time in her life and her first reaction is to take a photo. I mean, this is so typical. This is why women shouldn't be drivers. Look, first they, they, they put her in these clothes so she doesn't even need to take a photo. Look, she's wearing this black beekeeper's outfit in the middle of the desert and still she feels like a selfie. You know, I mean, out of all the bands that they could lift, they decided to lift this one. Really? They, why didn't they consult with the West? We've had female drivers for over 100 years. We know that shit don't work. Come on. You shouldn't just ask us. But anyway, at least, you know, at least they have money. So this should cover the insurance. And and they, they, they lifted on Sunday. So, you know, no one gets late to work or school because of that accidental car crash that killed them. But anyway, of course, I'm kidding. You know, uh, women really don't have rights in, in the Arab world, in, in Saudi Arabia in particular. So that's why it, this, this is kind of almost insulting in a way. I mean, women can still not open a bank account. They can't travel abroad. They can marry or divorce without a man's say so. But now they have a flashy toy to play with. You know, it's, it's like as if they gave out um, those handmaids from, from that show a Game Boy to play with while they're being raped, you know just so they can enjoy some Mario while someone else is going through their pipes. Uh, but anyway, the new road signs will be also introduced addressing women specifically. So those should be, you know, available in 19 colors and visible from space. And um, there'll be special parking spaces on public places for women. Those will include one spot per car plus two extra spots just in case. And, um, I kind of, I mean, I kind of get it from one point because they, they, you know, women seem like in Saudi Arabia, they're already wearing a race suit, uh, a racing suit. But, you know, what's next? I mean, what, what they, they want to, you know, fly planes, land on the moon, pee in the sink. What else are they going to take from these hardworking Arabs? And, um, you know, I, I kind of find it ironic, you know, it's, it, it's such a, it's such a strange country, Saudi Arabia. They got money, they got natural resources, but culturally they're like in the Middle Ages. You know, it's like the opposite of that country in the, in the Black Panther movie. Remember Wakanda? All these women in Wakanda, they were so strong and smart and independent. They were like shaving their heads and fighting and shit. I mean, Black Panther was such a weak character. This guy was getting beaten every day. And these women, I mean, notice this, they didn't even have the suit. Every scene that this dude goes somewhere, there's at least two bitches with him. <laughs> He's scared to get out of the house without at least two Wakanda bitches. That's how strong they are. And in this, and by the way, here's an, another ironic fact for you. So about a month ago, they lift another ban in Saudi Arabia. And this time they built cinemas for the first time in 50 years. So people go to the movies for the first time and the first movie that they see is a heavily edited version of the Black Panther. Now that is an interesting dinner conversation. Hey honey, um, I didn't get that scene where that woman got behind the wheel and she started driving the car. Shut up, bitch. Go to your corner, wife three. Your wife four, pick her up, pick her up and put her in a corner. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, then please subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and see you next time.